Alright guys, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> a few things I want to say before we actually go out and do anything. I did wait until night time so that uh, we would be able to see all of the lit up caves that I've... Well, lit up around here. Actually, I don't remember lighting that one up over there. So that might just be a lava pit. Because it's strangely light. Um, this wheat farm has been giving me some good wheat as well as this one over here. Um, I don't remember what the last thing you guys saw was. I've gathered a whole ton of wheat and stuff. Like, I've got another 16 back in the um, in my chest, and I grabbed a bunch of fish, too. Uh, this wheat farm is working great. Every time, I c every time I come over here, there's like three. I mean, now there's only one, but... I've got a few baby chickens wandering around. I got... Oh, oh. I did fill in the, undergr the underground here, and I don't remember if you guys here were here for it when I did this, but I'm really liking this lighting. Um because it... I put them six apart, because if the lights themselves are 14, or light level 14, then it goes 13, and then 12 above the glass block, then 11, 10, 9, and I think it's below 9 that mobs spawn, so I put... so these ones light bl lit up three blocks away, so I put them six blocks away so that everything is lit up. Well, actually, that would mean that this block... these, these four blocks right here aren't totally lit up, but... oh well. I haven't seen anything spawn yet, so it's working pretty well for me. And uh, let's see, I found a bunch of just pits around here, um, so that's uh, oh, that's not actually lit up over there. I don't know why I thought it was. It looked like it was. Okay, get away, spider. I don't want any. Um, I did grab quite a few more little friends over here. Um, brought back a bunch of sheep, which I then murdered, um, because they're just taking up space. Um, I've got a bunch of chickens now, which is alright. Um, I don't mind having them, because at least I can eat them. You know, can't eat sheep. Can't eat wool, unfortunately. Um, also because coming up at night means that a lot of mobs will spawn up here, and not down in caves. So, that's pretty useful. Of course, it's going to be almost morning by the time I'm done. Oh, and um, I did fill in beneath the bridge, and I realized that the uh, the actual walkway that came with the thing is actually down here. So I had just happened to follow the walkway exactly. It stops right here, though. So I just continued it on to the end, but I thought that was neat. Um, which, I mean, it makes sense, because that's just the only way that actually connects all three things. But um, is there more that comes over this way? No. Nope, that's it. But yeah, I thought that was neat. So let's go over to the the one with the pillar, because I feel like it's more important, <laughs> just because it's got a pillar on it. Um, like I said, there are a lot of pits around here. Like, oh, this is just a little cave, actually. Oh, I went and lit that one up. No, don't blow up. No! Oh, good, he didn't kill my sheep. That was close. You, you need to be careful, buddy. I'll take care of that later. Oh, missed a block. Um, did I get it? I did. Alright, um, I'm a little low on frame rate right now, which is strange. Uh, but yeah, so there's a whole bunch of pits around here that are just, uh, begging to be explored. So I did, I did pack up some stuff to go, uh, before I started recording so that we'd have plenty of, uh, time to record and or just go over that stuff that I wanted to go over. Uh, because, you know, that did take up quite a bit more time than I was hoping it would. Uh, that looks dark to me. Oh, right. The ravine. I forgot about that, actually. Um, let's see what we have here. It does open up over there to the sky, so that's neat. Um, uh, let's try to grab that iron. Is any of it suspended over... It? No, we're good. Unless it falls out. But yeah, like that. <laughs> I'll get it when we go down. Let's hop in here. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Just hop on over here. And, uh... Start digging our way across because I want to light up the um, the whole thing 
So that means I'm going to need to get onto all of these little side things. Because the ravines, the way they form, they've got these little, like, platforms on the sides. Which really kind of sucks, but there's not much I can do about it. Okay, let's just build this one out. Put a torch down. Because, you know, mobs can spawn up here, and especially if I'm going from the top down, I'd like to take out the top areas first. Get back. I don't want what you're selling. Oh, we need some redstone, because I need, um... I want to make a map. I have the paper for it. I just don't have the... Obviously, I have the iron for it. I just need the, um... The redstone to make the compass. So... Um... That's one thing I'll be keeping an eye out for. A little bit of lag here. Um... That's dangerous. I expect, like, half of these caves to just wind around to other caves that we've already found. Um, so, or just other ways to the surface. Nope, that's just lava. Oh, hey, this is just that other area. Hey, buddy. What's up? <laughs> I didn't mean to look up when I said what's up. It was just, uh, I thought I saw some iron in the ceiling, but I was wrong. You know, I left my light on again, and I shouldn't have done that. Because it just makes it so much harder to see for some reason. Um, even with my brightness settings all the way up. What is there, a spawner for you guys around here somewhere? I'm kidding. I know there's no creeper spawners. Um, or none that spawn naturally, at least. You can hack in creeper spawners. I, I always, I hate it whenever somebody asks, oh, is there a slime spawner around here? in, like, Adventure Maps or something, because you can't... It's not physically possible to put a slime spawner in. Um, I believe it's because they, um... They spawn weird, because there's several varieties of them. Um, they don't... I, I think the spawners just don't know how to do it. I could be wrong. Maybe it's just that Notch added in the, um... Or, I shouldn't necessarily say Notch, but... Maybe somebody added in the, uh the actual creeper spawners and everything, and they just didn't do slime spawners for some reason. I don't know. Um, I just assumed it was a technical issue where you couldn't actually do it, because there was some something stopping you, you know? Um, but yeah, so there are no slime spawners, which is kind of unfortunate, actually, because that'd, that'd be fun, just to have a slime spawner somewhere in, like, a fountain. Because, I mean, slimes aren't really that scary. Especially if you get the small ones on, like, an adventure map or something, just put them all in a fountain and Watch them flop around. Well, and drown, really. They don't kill themselves, but... Since they can't swim. Because they just kind of flounder about when you put them in water. They try to jump, but they can't. So all they do is just make annoying noises and then drown. <laughs> Which, I mean, if you're into that, then I guess that's a pretty neat feature to have on your home. But, anyway... Um, oh, more iron over here. I gotta be careful not to miss iron, because I, I want to only have to go through here once. I don't want to have to come through here, like, six times trying to get all this iron. Because, like, sometimes I see Let's Players go into a cave, and, like, Ethos like, okay, well, I'm just gonna light it up now, and then I'll come back for everything later. And I don't know how he can possibly do that, because I would never remember which paths I went down. You know, I'd just wander around, and think, oh, hey, have I been here? No, I, I don't have it. Yeah, well, obviously I've been there because the whole thing is lit up. Um, but it's like, I'd, I'd go in and I'd mine out one area and I'd have no idea which areas that I've already mined out. And I'd get so confused and then then I'd get lost and <laughs> it'd just be a whole mess. So I try to mine things out as soon as I see them, uh, which may not be as entertaining for you guys, but it saves me a whole lot of trouble. This cave needs to stop intersecting other caves. Because I keep going from cave to cave to cave to cave. <clears throat> and it's getting annoying. Um, on the bright side, we have tons of resources here. Uh, we won't be running out of iron anytime soon. I brought the stack of gravel with me just for things like that. Or for making staircases like I did earlier. 
just because I don't want to waste my cobblestone, because this is actually all the cobblestone I have right now. Um, I don't have any more. So, uh, this is also partly, this expedition here is also partly to get me some, some stone. Because, like I said, I don't have any. I also brought all my coal with me. Whoa! He just came running around the corner. Um, so, oh! It's zombie spawner, presumably. Uh, <laughs> I was just gonna say, today, um, it actually snowed a lot. Well, it snowed a lot yesterday, too. Um, but over the night, it, sl it snowed a ton. And, um, it, uh, made it very difficult for me. Because, like, I work at Burger King, right? Well, I couldn't exactly get into work today because of, um, all the snow. So, uh, like, I was trying, but we have, like, a foot of snow in our driveway, and, uh, no way to get out. So, um, I was going to take the bus, but then the bus route said, or the bus website said, hey, you know, the buses aren't running. So I went, oh, okay. Well, they are, but I live kind of way out in the middle of nowhere. Thanks, Mom. Um, she likes little houses out in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, so, when I checked this, the site, it said that buses didn't come out to this, this far. Uh, they turn around, uh, closer to the city. Um, and the, uh, there's, I think it said there's a van, it said there's a VA, VA, that, that comes out here. I think it was intended to be van, and they just had a typo, but I could be wrong. Don't know. Um, however, uh, I should have brought signs with me. Here we go. I'm going to make a sign uh, real quick, just so that I can keep tabs on where this spawner is. Because you, you guys know how I like to make mob traps. Ooh, iron. Um, and actually, I, I really need to end this episode soon, because we're over ten minutes. But um, on the bright side, I don't have to worry about losing video anymore. Thank you, Fraps. You're awesome. Um, I do need to make some torches, though. Oop. And just throw my coal all over the ground. It's puking up black. Oh, oh, jeez, laggy lag. Remember to take the fan out today, so that's cool. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna put this at all the intersections where I come back, and there's like, like here I came this way, and then I had to go up. So at any intersections where I did that, and you know stopped going where I was going and then changed direction. I'm going to put a sign um, just so that I can remember it. And let's see, if this goes deep then I won't worry about it, but no, it doesn't go very far. Alright, um Okay, so I gotta go now. So, um next episode we'll pick up where we left off here. So thank you hopefully without the lag. <laughs> thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.